Another hazardous situation you want to avoid on takeoff and landing is what's called wake turbulence. This invisible turbulence is caused by a pair of counter-rotating vortices behind an airplane's wing tips generated whenever a wing is developing lift. They become hazardous when the airplane rotates for takeoff and end only upon its landing. Their strength is determined by the wing shape, speed, and weight of the airplane, and they are strongest behind large, slow airplanes that are taking off or landing. Their biggest danger to other aircraft is that the turbulent rolling motion often exceeds the control capability of smaller aircraft. Tests have shown that vortices descend about 400 to 500 feet a minute and level off at about 900 feet below the flight path of the generating airplane. The safest method is to visualize the location of the vortex turbulence behind a large airplane and avoid it. You do this when taking off behind a large airplane by watching where it rotates and taking off before that point. Then, climb above the large plane's climb path until you can turn away from the path of the generating airplane. Make this turn into the wind if there is a crosswind. If you're making an intersection takeoff, be alert for large airplanes operating nearby. Their vortices could drift into your flight path. Also, don't cross under a large airplane's flight path. When following a large airplane to land on the same runway, stay above its flight path. Watch where it touches down and land beyond that point. If you're landing behind a large airplane that's landing on a parallel runway that's closer than 2,500 feet, be aware of the possible drift of the vortices to your runway. Stay above the large airplane's flight path and note where it touches down, then land beyond that point. If you are landing behind a large departing airplane on the same runway, note where it rotates and land before that point. If you're landing on a crossing runway behind a large departing airplane, watch where it rotates. If it's beyond the runway intersection, no vortices will have been generated on your runway. If it rotates before the intersection, avoid flight under the large airplane's flight path. If you cannot land before the intersection, plan to go around. If possible, allow at least three minutes to elapse before taking off or landing behind a large airplane to allow the turbulence to subside. You can also expect airport controllers to advise of the possibility of wake turbulence. Whether they do or not, you are expected to adjust your flight path as necessary to avoid wake turbulence. If you are en route under visual flight rules, avoid flight below and behind a large airplane's flight path. If a large airplane is seen above you on the same track, either meeting or overtaking, adjust your position laterally and preferably upwind.